Well, after nearly eight months, a Wyoming man is charged with murdering a teenager. Kavari Nash is currently in custody for the death of Jaquan Calvin. The deadly shooting happened last May during the early morning hours on the city's southeast side. 13 on your side's Carla Byron joins us now. Carla, you found something interesting in the court documents surrounding the shooting. Val, police say Nash was found to have been at the scene of the crime through his GPS tether, and witnesses say Nash was firing his gun indiscriminately when the victim was hit. The probable cause affidavit states Kavari Nash was with 15-year-old Jaquan Calvin in the area of Prince Street and Alto Avenue when the shooting happened. Police determined Nash was out on bond with a GPS tether, which is how they established he was there. Police say a stolen Audi arrived with people inside and Calvin began talking with someone in the car who had a handgun. Witnesses told investigators Calvin and Nash came up with a way to take the gun from the person in the Audi. It's believed Calvin spoke to Nash about this because he knew Nash was carrying a handgun and he wanted Nash to back him up when he tried to take the gun from the individual in the Audi. Witnesses say Calvin and Nash approached the Audi and Calvin sat in the rear passenger seat behind the person with the gun and then tried to take it once it was on the person's lap. The struggle spilled outside the car. Then the person with the gun fired around into the air and ran away. He told investigators he did this because he feared for his safety. Through witness interviews, they say Nash drew his gun and fired it while running back toward the east. Witnesses told investigators Nash was not looking in the direction where he was firing his gun, but reaching back with the gun and firing indiscriminately in the direction of the Audi. Calvin was seen running behind the Audi when he was struck and fell to the ground. According to his obituary, he was a freshman at Ottawa Hills High School, and he enjoyed playing with his siblings, dancing, and playing outdoor sports, especially basketball. And Nash was also charged with possession of a firearm while in the commission of a felony, carrying a concealed weapon and reckless use of a firearm causing death. He was already being held in jail on unrelated charges. His next court appearance is scheduled for February, Val.